Jennifer from Paper This and That. I am going to be making a birthday card today. This is for my sister-in-law, <clears throat> who her birthday is actually literally on the 4th of July. She is a big fan of frogs. And I thought I would go ahead and make her a frog themed card. So, I've already got my card base made. And I've got these two pieces. This was like a little um, dot pattern. I ran it through my Big Shot. And these are larger dots that I also ran through my Big Shot. The card is your typical A2 size card. And then I just made each one of these layers just a teeny bit smaller. Okay. So, let's get this ball rolling here. I want, to, I want this to be a pretty quick video. I've pre-cut everything on my Cricut machine. The frog, I think, was from um, Create a Critter. I think that's the cartridge. It's just a frog image that I picked out of my Design Space subscription. Cut on my Internet Explorer. Uh, uh, my Internet Explorer. Ah! Getting my words mixed up. And there goes my ATG gun. This is the only thing I hate about the ATG gun. Likes to mess up. This is not supposed to be vintage looking. That's why you don't see me inking. Um, my edges. The only thing you'll see me inking is when I get to put the flowers on. Okay, we got that layer on. Anyhow, I meant to say Cricut Explorer, not Internet Explorer. I guess I was on the internet got, getting some inspiration for like frog type cards. How many of you have this issue with your ATG gun? I would love to know who does and if you have a solution about it. I am almost tempted to just switch over to wet glue. Which I just might do that. Okay. Now there's the card base together. Now I need to put my frog to froggy together. He is just so cute. I love him. I saw this image and I said that's the image I want. And I'm probably going to take it a step further. I know I got googly eyes here somewhere. I just gotta find them. I just thought about googly eyes. Wiggly eyes. Mini wiggly eyes. I'm thinking I'm gonna use these for his eyes. I think that would be so adorable. Okay. And I am definitely gonna switch over to wet glue. Duh. Knocking things over. Sorry about that. Putting the ATG gun away because it just frustrates me. And I've been using um, wet glue for a while now because I've been doing mostly mini albums and art journals. And this is really cheap cardstock, I think. His legs got a little bit wonky when they were cut on my. Cricut and I don't think it's my blade because really since I changed the blade I have not used it much I have not cut anything like chipboard or anything so I don't know I don't get that either my mat was pretty sticky I just think it was the cardstock so I'm just going to score some wet glue if you're wondering what kind of glue I'm using, it's called um, Art Glitter Glue. 
I really like this stuff. It dries clear and it holds and it holds. Uh, it gives you the wiggle room when you're placing your piece down. But at the same time, once it dries, it's stuck. So, let's get my little froggy in place here. Okay, I gotta pick him up a little, a minute here. I wanna make sure he's good and stuck. Now we got this piece that goes right here. And what I like about some of these Cricut cuts, it puts a little slit, it lets you, like almost like a godsend, you know where to put the next layer. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little slit marks. My lighting's not the best in this room, but sometimes you got to deal with what you have available, right? I'm still using my close to my heart now, even though I'm not a close to my heart demonstrator anymore or consultant, whatever they call them. I have been looking into stamping up. I think that once I get some more followers, on YouTube and on my Facebook page um, I will start I may consider joining the um, Stampin Up and become a Stampin Up demonstrator make sure I got this right Isn't this froggy cute? I just might have to make one of these cute things, cute cards for my Etsy store. I might have to. Okay, now I'm going to open up. I know I'm off camera. That's only because I'm opening up my googly eyes. I call them googly eyes. <laughs> I don't know why. They're called wiggly eyes. I call them googly eyes. And the rest of these are going, I have these jewelry bags from when I used to make jewelry all the time. And I've had these bags forever. But they're great for putting brad, loose brads in when you open up a package of brads or something that have a lot of small pieces and you don't want them going anywhere. I still use them for beads because I incorporate beads into my mini albums many times. Okay, now, um, are these self-adhesive? I don't know if these are self-adhesive or not. I guess I could get the package back out of the garbage and read them. Uh, the packaging doesn't say anything about... being self-adhesive so maybe they're not I had something fall out of my garbage here so I think They appear to have a paperback. I was going to use glossy accents. So I thought maybe this was paper. 
I mean, stuff. It is paper. Plastic. Keys o -wees. Using all the long, wrong words today, aren't I? Probably should have just got my tweezers and did this. Oh, look how cute he is. And the other thing I need to get put together is my little speech bubble. Word bubble, speech bubble, talk bubble, whatever you will call it. I want to be a little bit more precise with this because glue shows up if it oozes out on black cardstock. Okay, now I gotta find a pen that I know is gonna write. And find a piece of Here's a piece of scrap cardstock. There we go. This is a Micron uh, it's Indian ink. It's archival. And I have, I do, I use these pens in my Zen tangling. And my, some of my drawings. And this, I happened to get a color set. The green one was t a waste. It ran out of ink, like as soon as I got it. I'm writing Hoppy Birthday. Happy birthday. And then I know some of my blacks are out of ink. I've got Indian ink to refill them. Okay, that one's good. <coughs> okay. Now we're going to put this on the card like so and I am going to use 3D foam tape to pop our froggy up. I gotta watch because I know I'm getting out of frame because I have it marked on my map where I need to be to stay in frame. 
I have it in my head. Okay, that needs to be skinnier. Okay, so go ahead and take the backing off this tape. Maybe. This one right here. I was gonna put him cattywonked, but I think I'm just gonna put him straight on. Just like that. And I am going to pop up. bubble too. I'm going to use these. Eh. Man, I got the klutzy, klutzies today. Dropping things, mixing my words up. Jeez a whiz. Think I need to go back to bed. Or need more caffeine. That's the ticket. More caffeine. I need more caffeine like I need a hole in the head. It's like out on my table, which I don't have it in here because I wanted to do this card. I have my fourth cup of coffee for of the day. Yes, you heard me right. My fourth cup of coffee. Weekends are like my only day, especially on Saturdays. For some reason, Saturdays, I drink so much coffee. Okay, now, I'm, the card's not done yet. Okay. I need to get my craft mat out if I could find it. You know, it's like I put things away. So they're out of my way when they're not needed because I'm going to be playing with ink or sprays. I haven't decided yet. Okay. I've got a scrap piece of cream cardstock here. I've got this punch. I think um, this is EK Success. I'm not positive. I've had this punch. This is one of my first punches I ever got when I started making cards. And that was... Whew. How long ago? I don't know. Now I've got all the toys. I probably could have just cut these out on my Cricut. But the punch is just as quick. I didn't feel like uh, loading another map. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. Okay, let's see here. I want a pinkish color. I am thinking of Tim Holtz Distress Paint, um, maybe purple. Oh, I got these Martha Stewart pearls paints. I think I got a pink one in them too. Maybe I'll do one. I think I'm going to do one. 
with the purple. Um, this is uh, Wilted Violet. I don't get to use these very often. And then I am going to get my water. Spray that real good. And I need something to stir. Get myself all nice and painty and inky. If any of your kids are watching this, I bet they're saying, Mommy, I want to play and paint. Let me make some pretty flowers. Huh. Okay. Now, I don't have my paper towels in here. Okay, I've got baby wipes. See if I can get one out with one hand. You guys see my baby wipe thing? It's got you know, some paint and stuff all over the place. Okay, so I am going to wipe this paint up. Try to get the rest of the purple off of my hands. Off the tip of my brush. Okay. That's the purple. I know that I have a have rags in here somewhere. I don't, oh. Uh. Ah! Things are falling on me. I stole these shop rags from my other half out of the garage and I thought mm -hmm. I can use those I got a use for those okay so now I got a rag I don't want to put that on my mini album Okay, so the next thing I need, I want to do is I'm going to use um, Martha Stewart. Uh, this is one of her pearl acrylic paints. Doesn't say the color on it, I don't think, anywhere. But it's like a pinkish. Oh, is that pretty? That's real pretty. I like this color. I've actually used it in um, mixed media, like my jelly printing. It's a little bit thick. And that is like way too much paint, but that's okay. So much paint that it's actually covered up the flower. Okay, there. Now, get the paint off my hands and wipe this up. Okay, put that aside. 
I'm going to make a little bit of noise so you can see that they're up a little bit high. I'm going to make a little bit of noise because I'm getting my heat gun out. So just bear with They might be dry enough. <coughs> okay. So now, I need to clean up my mess. And my hands, because I don't want to get paint on parts of the card. I don't want it. But note to self, when drying Martha Stewart pearl paints, it will bubble with a heat gun if you're not careful. But in this case, I kind of like the effect. Okay. Now. Oh. Pink over here. Call me obsessive or whatever. I like to clean my things as I go sometimes. Okay. So I got paint on me, but I think it's even dry on me. Okay. So now I am going to add a couple flowers. And I think I'm, I'm got, this is what I'm gonna do, which one's the one I, I want to want I want some texture. So I am going to add one here. And uh, we gonna add it over here on the froggy over on this side on the lily pad. There we go. And add the top layer. I'm going to offset the petals. This just makes like a fuller looking flower, I think. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I hope this video is not too, too long for you guys. Okay. And then I'm going to cap my glue. And I've got this pearl pen. This is a gold color. I 
and there we have it. There's my card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you like this or have questions. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's it for now and thank you for watching and have a great day. And happy 4th of July.